have got one of the leading experts, Jonathan Mendez, and Jonathan is with Ramp Digital. And welcome, Jonathan. Nice to have you here. Yes, thank you. Uh, Good to be here. What brings you here at CS? Oh, so I'm um, doing quite a few sessions. Um, we're going to talk on. Um, um, how to speak geek in a few minutes together, and um, we're going to be doing some landing page clinics um, tomorrow at 12:30. I'm doing one, and um, also uh, ad conversion uh, or ad continuity with Tim Ash tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so quite a few, quite a busy uh, event for me. Wow, wow. Landing page, you know, like uh, how how do you approach landing page optimization? I mean, what's your step? You know, absolutely, it's a great question. Well, it all starts with the user, okay. so we have to understand what their what is their goal. What are they trying to accomplish? Are they uh, looking to discover information? Are they looking to uh, uh, recover something that they knew? Uh, and what's great is that the keyword is um, lets us know a lot about what their goals are. Right. So it all starts with the user and the keyword, uh, and then we get into the ad uh, that, they're, that they're coming from. And so we've done a lot of tests, and what we know is that the ad is a tremendously important part of conversion optimization. Okay. And the ad has an incredible factor of influence on if that person will even convert or not, even before the page. So we're actually starting to set expectations for people uh -huh. uh, and, and, and message them in an advertising and persuasive manner. So that becomes really, really important and that's one of the things I'm really excited that they're actually having a session on that tomorrow because uh, I think that's not appreciated enough really uh, by a lot of marketers and then of course we take all that information that we have so we have uh, the keyword and then we have we know what ad they clicked on and then we get to the landing page and it's there where we really try to close the deal um, but you know again what's what's all the steps that happen before that uh, are really important in determining what page you show them what messaging what the headline is so we really try to look holistically uh, with the experience of the user and separate ourselves as marketers and try to get behind uh, the intentions and the mindset of the user. So if someone, you know, like some companies, and I've known quite a few about it, is who don't know or haven't done any targeting or any landing page optimization, what is the process that you recommend them to do, like from step one to all the way measuring it? Sure, great question. I, you you want to start where you're going to make the most impact. Okay. So one of the issues I see a lot of times is people are looking at certain keywords where uh, they're not having, uh, they're not going to get a lot of, they're not getting a lot of traffic from, they don't get a lot of conversions, and they want to increase those. Um, and that's not a really great place to start. I actually like starting where you have the most traffic, and, and many times you see that's where you have the most benefit. Even, uh, I've had a lot of success with brand keywords. Mm -hmm. So people think, oh, those people are already searching for our brand. We don't have to do any kind of landing pages. We'll just bring those people to our home page, yeah. and we can message to them, um, and they're going to be fine, and we have a good conversion rate from those people anyway. Uh, but interestingly, those are where, through my experience of doing this many years, you get to actually the best results. Mm -hmm. If you start to take a more marketer, centric approach to your home page, you start to message and start to be more persuasive, especially from that paid traffic, you can see um, uh, much greater in increases in conversion rate on those terms. And of course, they're going to make a much larger impact yeah. because you're getting most of your traffic from them. Because these guys are already looking for you, so they're already two steps in the door. <laughs> exactly. You better at that the whole thing. Exactly. You want to convert the converted. I, t I tell it to a lot of people. Uh, you know, so if you can, if you can do that, uh, I, I find that's where you have the best results. Yeah. So start there. I love brand landing pages, I love branded keywords, um, and uh, we've got some amazing results for, for lots of clients starting starting there. So that would be my Can advice. Can you give some example? Are you allowed to give some example of some um, clients that maybe we know? If you yeah, sure. Um, well, we did the company's no longer in business as, as what it was, um, so maybe I could talk about it. But we did uh, some uh, landing page testing for a share builder, a company called Share Builder. Yeah. And uh, this is when I was at Offermatica. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we, we did their brand uh, pages, and remarkably, we had 156% improvement on conversion rate mm -hmm. uh, just from their brand keywords, people looking for share builder. Um, so these people were already in market, they already had some interest and uh, knowledge about the brand. Um, and what we did was we created a really, we first started doing A-B testing, so we created uh, uh, actually five different pages. Uh, we got the winning page uh, for, for that uh, group of traffic, and then from that we did a multivariate test. So we did a seven by two multivariate test. We took seven elements on the landing page and did a, uh, almost an A-B test of each element, uh, and we had even more increase. So in, in aggregate we had a, uh, you know, a really, oh, well over 100% improvement in conversion rate for their, their most highly trafficked term. So it was, it was a huge win for them. Now people always have this confusion between A-B and M-B-T and stuff like that. What are the starting steps? that you recommend? 
Um, I, I think A-B testing is fantastic. I think yeah. you should do it uh, everywhere you can. So do it on your ads, um, do it on your landing pages. Um, I, I think what's important in A-B testing is uh, what I would call a creative differentiation. Mm -hmm. So you really want to present much different experiences right. to, to each person. You don't want to A-B test at first just a headline versus a headline and keep everything else on the page the same. That's not where you get your big increases. You have to be bold. You have to take risks, uh, just like anything else in life if you want to be successful, and, and really put two different experiences out there. And, and you're going to get what's happened. We used to call it, I, I still do, I call it signal. You know, you'll find people are really uh, drawn to, to one versus the other when you have really different types of experiences for them to have online. So the more differentiation you have, the better your results will be. And I would start there. Simple A-B testing is, is fantastic. Now, are there any tools, free versus paid, in the market that you recommend? Or you like? uh, there's a lot of tools. Uh, I don't want to necessarily endorse any one over, over another. I'll okay. try to be politically correct. Um, okay, if you're, They all can get you to uh, what you need to accomplish. Okay. Um, um, you know, it really depends on um, your needs. Okay. And I I think, um, you know, ideally, um, I know there's more and more tools coming. I know next year, actually, I've spoken to a lot of people who are building tools now that are going to go to market next year. So the space is, as you know, it, it, it's white hot and it's, um, uh, it's got a lot of attention, and rightfully so. Um, but it's really uh, understand your business and, and try to understand what you need to do uh, and, and start simple and, and then go from there. Can you talk a little bit about your company, what you do? And sure. Um, well, we do a lot of, uh, it's, it's conversion optimization, performance marketing. Uh, we, we buy some media for clients. Uh, we do a lot of landing page work, so uh, sometimes we'll control the entire, uh, you know, work on like a performance basis and we'll buy the media and do the ads. Other times we're just hired to create better performing landing pages. Um, and, um, you know, through our experience we're usually able to deliver pages that, that initially will get a nice bump of conversion uh, improvement and then we go from there and do testing and, and, and other types of more advanced uh, marketing techniques to continue improvement. It's, it's not something that ever ends. And I think that's the wonderful piece about it is it's yeah. ongoing. Yeah. You're always improving. And the marketplace is dynamic. So you know that conversion rates on a, a keyword uh, in the spring are very often different in the fall. Yeah. So it's you easy. might see there's seasonality, there's temporal trends. Yeah. There's a lot of different things at play. So you want to try to, the more you can understand those things and create more dynamic experiences for the people that are coming to your page uh, that you've tested and validated working, the more successful you'll be. Great. Uh, how do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the best way is to uh, just give us, uh, just Google my name, Jonathan Mendez. Uh, or, or, or go to, Ramp. Uh, my re website is Ramp Digital, and also my blog is Optimize and Prophesize. Um, and um, uh, the power of search will get you there. So John Mendez or Jonathan Mendez, you'll find us. That's great. Thanks a lot, Jonathan, oh, this is great, talking Bob. to you. Great to see you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you.